Preparations generally at the minute are, are pretty good. Um, it's been it's been a long year, year and a half. I've been trying to get over the back of a couple of injuries, so I've spent um, the majority of my time just focusing on trying to get back to where I need to be. You know, I've I realised off last year I've got to be 100%. I can't be running at 90, 95 percent. It just it doesn't work when you're trying to to run quick and apply maximum force. So. I've spent, as I said, all the time getting on top of any problems, um, and now it's just about continue to put in the work and, and build up over the next few months and I suppose the next 12 months as well. I think nearly when London ends, you're already starting to think about Rio, but you know, we're already a year out almost, and it's incredible how quickly time goes by, and, and all of a sudden we're right at the doorstep of, of the game. So something you really look forward to and for me I've, I'm very much excited and looking forward to what the next year brings and hopefully it can bring a lot of success. You know I've been fortunate enough to win gold in Beijing again in London so if I could go a third Paralympic Games with with achieving gold um, you know I would be delighted and you know I, I believe it's very much possible so it's it's I think the key is trying to keep injury free and for me that's been a bit of a challenge the last couple of years so it's it's um, setting that foundation that I'm able to go on and perform and perform better than I have before.